Hey guys, no help back today for another one hour of video and today I'm going to be doing one hour of pickpocketing master farmers. Um, I pretty much have the best gear and stats for this. Um, I have the full rogues outfit and um, 99 thieving. So I'm actually kind of curious on what you can get in an hour. Some people say you can make over a million coins an hour from doing this and uh, as an iron man you know I need to collect a bunch of seeds for farming. So let's go ahead and pickpocket these guys for an hour. I'm going to show you what you're going to need for gear, where um, is the best place to do them, and uh, yeah. Also, if you guys have any other ideas for one hour of, just leave it below in the comments and I will do my best to uh, make it. All right, so yeah, I choose to do it in the farming guild here because the master farmer is right here as well as there is a seed vault So you can go ahead and dump any of the seeds you might not want into the seed vault But you might want to keep for later or if you're an iron man You can just dump them all in there so you don't have to just drop them and things like that Especially the seeds for like birdhouse runs and things like that So you're gonna need 65 farming to enter this part of the guild here Which has the master farmer as well as you're gonna need 38 thieving i highly recommend you get a lot higher than that or else you're gonna fail quite a bit and then you're gonna need to want to bring some food as well as getting the rogue outfit um i do have a rogue outfit guide on my channel and i can go ahead and leave that in the description it is a couple years old but uh it could help you get the rogue outfit i'm not sure if it's actually changed and then if you also have a thieving cape which probably a lot of you guys don't have um you will never fail um pickpocketing these guys so yeah if you have that take it if not wear the arty cloak or things like that and uh yeah so this outfit gives you double the seed so whenever you get a seed like a renar you get two of them so that's where the real money is made but uh i'm gonna go ahead and show you basically what to do all you have to do is pickpocket them and it is a left click option so that's all you have to do is pickpocket the master farmer and you guys can go ahead and hear my mouse here Pretty much all you got to do is spam click this guy over and over and over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and test the farming exp or not the farming, how much thieving XP I get and then how much seeds I get in the hour. I will be putting a lot of the seeds. I actually will be dropping quite a bit of the seeds, but thanks to Rune Light here, um, they added a plugin to show you exactly how many seeds you got. So I'm going to go ahead and actually reset that and uh, do this for an hour. And as well as reset my thieving XP here so you guys can go ahead and see. So I will see you guys back in an hour. Okay, so we're about halfway done now. I am just dropping the worthless seeds on the ground, but uh, it's not looking too bad so far. About half a mil already made. Okay, so we got uh, four minutes left on the timer and we just actually passed a million coins made this hour. But I'm going to continue for the four minutes. We could get lucky with another drop. All right, guys, so the hour is actually up now. We managed to make 1.7 uh, mil. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my rune light over here. So these are exactly all of the seeds that I did get. If you want to go ahead and look at that, it isn't really too bad at all. And then we gained 110k thieving XP. Keep in mind, I do have 99, so I didn't fail once at all. And we managed to pickpocket the Master Farmer 2,500 times in an hour. So where the real money is made is obviously on the high-level seeds, like the Renar seeds. And we also got the snap seeds and torstal seeds and then the rest is just miscellaneous but if you're an iron man um the limps are good the barley seeds are good for doing herb or uh birdhouse runs we got some toad flax watermelon but yeah overall over a mil made that hour actually 1.07 mil so not bad plus the 110k thieving xp it's kind of an actual method that you might i might end up using in the future to go for the pet or for to go for ranks and things like that but even if you say you had like 80 and stuff you'd fail a lot more but i mean still 110k xp is really not too bad at all but yeah anyways thank you guys for watching this video and i will catch you in the next one see you later